Hello everybody, thank you for stopping back by Wild Bird Creative. Just going to do some work on my jelly plate today. I've picked up some leaves while I was out for my walk. And I'm just going to pull some prints and have some fun. I've got my papers all ready. I've got my leaves all ready. Let's just get some stuff started. Let's get that little piece of paper off here. Don't need that. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I've got a whole variety of leaves here just from the street and I'm going to lay them both right side up and upside down so that I get a nice variety of lines and shapes. Now the first one that I'm going to do is just on plain white copy paper. It's going to give me a very, very stark print. Now what I'll do is I'll grab just a piece of excess paper from when I would roll my brayer off, and I'm going to pick these up and lay them down. and just get some additional prints. And then these will be incorporated into other pieces. Let's take a sheet of music and pull up a print. This is just a quick and easy way to go through and make a bunch of backgrounds all at once. See, so there you go. I've got some leaves there. I've got the one that is just silhouettes. And then I've got the one that is the prints that easy took me no time at all let's see let's do a different yellow this time <clears throat> and let's do maybe just a little tiny bit of red i don't need very much because red can go a long way but let's mix it all in here Get a couple different ones here. Let's do this big one. And then this very, very small guy. We'll tuck him right there. And then I've got a nice big maple leaf that I'll put right here. And I'm going to overlap these a little bit for a different effect. And I've got a different shaped maple leaf, too, but he may not fit. I'll try him here in the corner. And then lastly, we'll lay this guy up here. I'll put another little one here. <clears throat> Get my piece of paper. Pull 
ruffle it up. Then this time I'm going to take the leaves off and put them onto the sheet of music. And because it's all just veins and lines, it doesn't really matter where you put them. They're going to look great. And sometimes you'll end up with a full leaf print, and sometimes you'll just end up with a little bit of detail. This big one should be really nice. And then I have this beautiful one to pull a print off of. And this time, I'm going to do it on an old piece of tissue that I've got laying around. Because I want something that's going to end up being translucent when I use it. Let's lift him up. Oh, that came out beautiful, too. Look at that. Okay, here's the last one. Pull him up carefully because it is tissue. Isn't that beautiful? So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six different backgrounds that now I can add more to and keep in my stash. I hope you'll give this a try if you have a jelly plate. If not, you can do it with an ink pad and leaves. It just takes a little longer. Thanks for stopping by Wild Bird Creative.